Hello, and welcome to the pitch for my game idea, Dead Cold. Dead Cold is a top-down horror RPG where players must creatively make their way through a mutant-infested factory by utilizing the environment and rescuing other survivors. Controls are standard, with AWSD for movement, spacebar for jump, I for inventory, K for skills, and E to interact. Certain areas require the players to think quickly. In the following gameplay examples, you can see how the player can interact with a few parts of the environment. Wherever the E is displayed, that indicates something the player can interact with. In this instance, the player can choose to drive the forklift. In other instances, E will indicate an item that can be used or added to their backpack. The inventory system is a simple storage interface with a separate tab for combining items. Combining items is crucial to protecting yourself. In this example, you can see flammable liquid and a mop being combined. The next step is to light it on fire. This will act as a source of light, as well as a weapon. Players will frequently find themselves surrounded by mutants and must think quickly to survive. Using the environment to their advantage is a must, as this gives the player more options other than weaponry, and it also boosts stats. For example, you can pick up a sheet of metal to slice them in half, or you can shove monsters onto the conveyor belt that will drag them into the oven. After you have discovered a new way to kill an enemy, this will boost your skills. Skills will be learned as you discover all of these new ways to kill enemies, and each skill will provide a stat boost. These will build on each other throughout the game. When you come in contact with other survivors, many things can happen. Observing them is important, as this will give you a hint as to what kind of asset they can be for you. Are they wielding anything to protect themselves, or are they cowering in fear? Take note that more independent survivors may choose not to join you even if you ask. They are also sizing you up, and if they notice you don't have efficient tools or gear, they will choose to escape on their own. Players must try to gather as many survivors as possible, as this will end the game with more points. Several playthroughs are recommended, as full points will be difficult to achieve. This game is like how to survive in Pixel Dungeon in the way that you must discover how to use items found, as well as the perspective of the game. Risks include animations, code, and creating a stable inventory slash combination system. These should be addressed as soon as possible to avoid running out of time. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. Thanks for watching.